Hi, I'm Colin Finley. I'm from Hollywood, California. My photography is primarily about the human condition, and that spans, of course, what's happening in places like Africa that crosses over into what's happening in the environment, to speak of some of the work that I've been doing recently. That's what speaks to me. That's, the, that's what I'm in search of, is finding that one photograph of those moments that speak that truth and bring that truth from many times very difficult situations back to what it is our world. I would say most generally I'm always using a single lens reflex. I'm always using, I always carry enough cards with me even on this trip so that I don't have to erase anything from the cards. I'm working with external hard drives which I'm backing up anywhere from two to four sets of all of my work when I'm in the field. Photography for me is the language of my soul. It speaks as, as I speak and it speaks through me. It is my visual language, my my craft, it is everything that I am. It has been for over 20 years. So for me, that is the, the essence. That is my language visually, is the photograph. And I choose for them to speak for themselves as opposed to me speaking for them. One of the most poignant images and powerful to me was in Haiti just after the coup in 1991. I was up in a remote village called Berry, away probably six, seven hours outside of Port-au-Prince in Haiti. Um, and amongst the epidemic had ravaged this village. 90 plus percent of the children had already perished in a very brief period of time. And the gentleman carried his child on his back all the way down to the clinic to see if there was anything that she could take, any type of medicines at all. And of course, unfortunately, he had voted for the wrong people. He had voted for Aristide. And when the Cedros regime came in, they closed down a lot of these outside clinics and really brought all the medicines back into the central city, into Port-au-Prince. He'd already lost two children in one week, two on the same day. His third child he carried home on his back and she passed away that afternoon and now his fourth child was sick. And he had a poultice wrapped around his, his head and his neck with leaves in here. And I could tell something what he, just listening to my interpreter, I could tell the change of his voice. And I was on my knees photographing his child holding onto his father's finger. And I looked up at my interpreter and I said, could you please tell me what was it that he just said? And he looked at me and he said, please tell the world we are the ones who are suffering. And that started really this intense understanding and the importance of the responsibility that I have as a photographer in bringing this message and carrying these photographs forward. And what is it that I can do for that man and for his child? So sometimes it becomes this incredible passion that I have for photography that also becomes a tremendous responsibility and that is my oath, if you will, spoken and unspoken to that man and his child and to the hundreds of people that I've photographed who've entrusted me with their lives, the stories of their lives. So I do see myself as a storyteller and it's their story that I'm telling.